Disclaimer, the answers provided here are gathered from various sources, including search engines like Google, video sharing platforms like YouTube, and other online platforms. We do not claim or guarantee the accuracy, reliability, or authenticity of the answers. Please be aware that the information presented here is based on publicly available data, and it may not always reflect the most current or accurate information. The answers are intended for general informational purposes and should not be considered as the sole source of information for critical decisions or important applications. Users are strongly encouraged to independently verify any information obtained from this platform or other sources before relying on it for decision-making or other purposes. It is essential to exercise discretion and critical thinking when evaluating and using the information provided. We do not assume any responsibility or liability for the accuracy or completeness of the answers or for any actions taken based on the information presented here. Users use this platform and its answers at their own discretion and risk. Which of the following is a technique that marks the beginning of computer communications? A. User environment B. Batch environment C. Time sharing D. More than one of the above E. None of the above Answer. Time sharing Explanation Time sharing is a technique that marked the beginning of computer communications. Time sharing allows users to interact with a computer and share its information processing resources. It was developed in the 1960s and became the prominent model of computing in the 1970s. Time sharing enables multitasking by a single user, multiple user sessions, individuals and organizations to use a computer without owning one. The development of new interactive applications, time sharing lowered the cost of providing computing capability. In a time sharing operating system, unit time is defined for sharing CPU. It is called a time quantum or time slice. Which language is better for writing structured code? A. Pascal, B. Fortran, C. Basic, D. More than one of the above, E. None of the above. Answer. Pascal. Explanation. Pascal is a structured language that requires code to be organized into blocks separated by keywords. This makes code more readable and easier to maintain. Fortran, Basic, and more than one of the above are not structured languages. Here is a brief description of each language. Pascal, a structured programming language developed in the 1970s. It is known for its simplicity and clarity, making it a good choice for beginners. Fortran a procedural programming language developed in the 1950s. It is known for its speed and efficiency, making it a good choice for scientific and engineering applications. Basic, a general-purpose programming language developed in the 1960s. It is known for its simplicity and ease of use, making it a good choice for beginners. Which language does a browser use to display information from the World Wide Web? A. Machine code. B. Assembly language. C. C. D. More than one of the above, e. None of the above. Answer. None of the above. Explanation. A web browser typically uses a combination of programming languages, but none of the options, a. Machine code, b. Assembly language, or c. C is the primary language used by a browser to display information from the World Wide Web. Web browsers primarily use languages like HTML, Hypertext Markup Language, CSS, Cascading Style Sheets and JavaScript to render and display web content. HTML is used for structuring the content, CSS is used for styling it, and JavaScript is used for adding interactivity to web pages. These languages are not listed in the provided options. Select the true statement for compiler. A. The input of the compiler is source program. B. It translates the source code into object code as a whole. C. The output of the compiler is object code. D. More than one of the above, e. None of the above. Answer. More than one of the above, explanation, all of the statements, a, b, and c, are true for a compiler. The input of the compiler is a source program. It takes the high-level source code as input, b. It translates the source code into object code as a whole. A compiler processes the entire source code program and generates object code or machine code for the entire program in a single step. C. The output of the compiler is object code. The primary output of a compiler is the object code, which can be executed by the computer's CPU. So, D. More than one of the above is the correct choice in this case. Is used to shift processes so they are contiguous, and all free memory is in one block. A. Fragmentation. B. Compaction. 
c external fragmentation d more than one of the above e none of the above answer compaction explanation compaction is used to shift processes so they are contiguous and all free memory is in one block it is a process in which the free space is collected in a large memory chunk to make some space available for processes in memory management swapping creates multiple fragments in the memory because of the processes moving in and out compaction refers to combining all the empty spaces together and processes additional information fragmentation it is a phenomenon in which storage space is used inefficiently reducing capacity or performance and often both the exact consequences of fragmentation depend on the specific system of storage allocation in use and the particular form of fragmentation external fragmentation it arises when free memory is separated into small blocks and is interspersed by allocated memory it is a weakness of certain storage allocation algorithms when they fail to order memory used by programs efficiently which of the following is not a valid variable name in most programming languages a my variable b 123 variable c underscore my variable d more than one of the above e none of the above answer 123 variable explanation in most programming languages variable names cannot start with a digit so 123 variable is not a valid variable name variable names typically need to start with a letter or an underscore Therefore option B is not a valid variable name in most programming languages Secondary memory is a long term store for programs and data while main memory holds program and data currently in use What kind of an organization is this A physical B logical C structural D more than one of the above E none of the above Answer physical explanation The secondary memory is a long term store for programs and data while main memory holds program and data currently in use. This is a physical organization. If a semicolon is not used at the end of the statement, what message will be displayed by C? A semicolon missing, B statement missing, C error in statements, D more than one of the above, E none of the above. Answer: Error in the statement. Explanation: If a semicolon is not used at the end of a statement in C, it will typically result in a compilation error, indicating an error in the statement. The exact error message may vary depending on the specific C compiler being used, but it will generally indicate that there is a problem with the syntax of the statement due to the missing semicolon. So, option C, error in statements is the most appropriate description of what would happen. A set of libraries that provides programmatically access to some kind of graphics to d functions is a graphics package b formatting package c animation package d more than one of the above e none of the above answer graphics package explanation a set of libraries that provides programmatically access to to d graphics functions is commonly referred to as a graphics package These libraries allow programmers to create and manipulate graphical elements and images in their software applications. Which shortcut key is used to compile and run the program in C? A. Alt F9. B. Alt F5. C. Control F9. D. More than one of the above. E. None of the above. Answer. Control F9. Explanation. To compile and run a program in C, you can use the shortcut key Control F9. You can also use alt or enter to run a program. Here are some other shortcut keys in Turbo C. Alt F9, compile, alt 0, open a list of all available files, alt C, open the compile menu option, alt D, open the debug menu, control F2, program reset, alt F4, inspect. What does the control unit generate to control other units? A timing signals, B command signals, C control signals, D more than one of the above, E none of the above. Answer: Timing signal. Explanation: The control unit CPU in a computer's central processing unit CPU generates timing signals to control other units. The CPU uses a binary decoder to convert coded instructions into timing and control signals. The CPU controls most of the computer's operations including the flow of data between the CPU and other devices the movement of data within the CPU the exchange of data and control signals across external interfaces the CPU is typically an internal part of the CPU its overall role and operation have remained unchanged since its introduction
Which of the following is user-defined header file extension used in C, A, H, G, B, C, P, P, C, H, D, more than one of the above, E, none of the above? Answer, H, explanation, the user-defined header file extension in C is .h, header files contain, C function declarations, macro definitions, predefined functions, snippets, definitions of function and data types, to include a user-defined header file, you can use, hash include name .h, enclose the header file name within double quotes. The most common addressing technique employed by a CPU is, A, direct, B, indirect, C, immediate, D, more than one of the above, E, none of the above. Answer, more than one of the above, explanation, the most common addressing techniques employed by a CPU are immediate, direct, indirect, and register. What will happen if the following C statement is compiled and executed? int ptr is equal to null, delete ptr, a, the program is not semantically correct, b, the program is compiled and executed successfully, c, the program gives a compile time error, d, more than one of the above, e, none of the above. Answer, the program is compiled and executed successfully, explanation, the program is initializing a pointer, ptr, to, null, and then attempting to delete it. Deleting a null pointer in C is safe and does not lead to runtime errors. It is a valid operation that does nothing, and the program will compile and execute without issues. Therefore, option B is correct. In various devices, are used to overcome the difference in data transfer speed. A. Multiple buses. B. Buffer registers. C. Speed enhancing circuitries. D. More than one of the above. E. None of the above. Answer. Buffer registers, explanation, buffer registers are often used in various devices to overcome differences in data transfer speeds between different components or subsystems. They temporarily store data to facilitate more efficient data transfer between components that may operate at different speeds. This buffering helps ensure that data is not lost or overwritten during the transfer process, especially when there is a speed disparity between sender and receiver components. What do we use to extend the connectivity of the processor bus? A. PCI bus. B. Multiple bus. C. SCSI bus. D. More than one of the above. E. None of the above. Answer. PCI bus. Explanation. The PCI bus is used to extend the connectivity of the processor bus. The PCI bus is a standardized, high-performance bus architecture that connects the CPU to multiple devices, such as graphics cards, network cards, sound cards, storage devices. The PCI bus supports both 32-bit and 64-bit addresses for memory space. SCSI stands for Small Computer System Interface. It's a set of standards for physically connecting and transferring data between computers and peripheral devices. SCSI is best known for its use with storage devices such as hard disk drives. In memory mapped I.O., A, the I.O. devices and the memory share the same address space b. The I.O. devices have a separate address space, c. The memory and I.O. devices have an associated address space, d. More than one of the above, e. None of the above. Answer. The I.O. devices and the memory share the same address space. Explanation. In memory mapped I.O., the memory and I.O. devices share the same address space. This means that I.O. devices are accessed using memory read and write instructions, and they are mapped to specific memory addresses, making them appear as if they are part of the memory space. This simplifies I.O. operations because programmers can interact with I.O. devices using the same instructions and addressing modes as for memory access. What is the addressing called that is used in an instruction of the form ad xy, a indirect, b index, c absolute, d more than one of the above, e none of the above? Answer, absolute, explanation. The addressing mode used in an instruction of the form ad xy is absolute addressing. Absolute addressing is also known as direct addressing. In this mode, the address of the operand is explicitly given as part of the instruction. The address is not specified relative to the current instruction address. Which of the following correctly declares an array in C? A. Array 10. B. Int array. C. Int array 10. D. More than one of the above, e, none of the above. Answer. Int array, 10. Explanation. Option, A, is not valid syntax. Option, 
B. Declares a single integer variable, not an array. Option C. Represents the correct syntax for declaring an integer array with 10 elements. SQL views are also known as A. Simple tables B. Virtual tables C. Complex tables D. More than one of the above E. None of the above Answer. Virtual table Explanation SQL views are also known as virtual tables. A view is a virtual table that contains rows and columns similar to a real table. It shows the table interface but cannot be stored in a database. A view is based on the result set of an SQL statement. The fields in a view are fields from one or more real tables in the database. A view is used to hide some data from the users, show results of computed columns, hide complicated DQL statements, provide a level of indirection between data processed by applications and the data actually stored in the database tables. How many primary keys can be there in a table? A. Only one. B. Only two. C. Depends on number of columns. D. More than one of the above, e. None of the above. Answer. Only one. Explanation. The data in a specific column is always unique. A database table can only have one primary key. It uniquely identifies a record in a relational database table. What will be the output of the following C code? A. Hello. B. World. C. Error. D. More than one of the above, e. None of the above. Answer. Error. Explanation. There is no operation defined for the addition of character array in C. Hence the compiler throws an error as it does not understood what to do about this expression. Which of the following is not constrained in SQL? A. Primary key. B. Not null. C. Union. D. More than one of the above. E. None of the above. Answer. Union. Explanation. Constraint specifies the rule to allow or restrict what data will be stored in a table. The primary key, not null, and check are the constraints that specify rules for data insertion. Union is an operator that combines two or more results from multiple select queries into a single result set. Which of the following is not a valid aggregate function? A. Count. B. Compute. C. Sum. D. More than one of the above. E. None of the above. Answer. Compute. Explanation. Compute is not an aggregate function. Aggregate functions perform calculations on multiple values and return a single value. They are often used with a select statement. Some aggregate functions in SQL include average, finds the average, count, counts the number of values, max, finds the maximum, min, finds the minimum, sum, performs a sum. Who is the father of computer? A. James Gosling, B. Charles Babbage, C. Dennis Ritchie, D. More than one of the above, E. None of the above. Answer. Charles Babbage. Explanation. Charles Babbage is known as the father of computers. Charles Babbage designed and built the first mechanical computer and difference engine. If we have not specified ASC or DSC after an SQL order by clause, which of the following is used by default? A. DSC. B. ASC. C. There is no default value. D. More than one of the above, e. None of the above. Answer. AC explanation. If you have not specified AC, ascending, or DESC, descending, after an SQL order by clause, the default sorting order used by most relational database systems is AC, ascending. In IA32 architecture, along with the general flags, which of the following conditional flags is provided? A. TF, B. IOPL, C. If, D. More than one of the above, E. None of the above. Answer. More than one of the above. Explanation. The if flag is often used to control the handling of interrupts in a system. In the IA32 architecture, along with the general flags, which are used for various purposes, the conditional flags provided include the TF, trap flag, IOPL, IO privilege level, and if, interrupt flag. Which of the following is true about the having clause? A. Similar to the where clause but is used for columns rather than groups. B. Similar to where clause but is used for rows rather than columns. C. Similar to where clause but is used for groups rather than rows. D. More than one of the above. E. None of the above. Answer. Similar to where clause but is used for groups rather than rows. Explanation. The having clause in SQL is used to filter the results of a group by query based on the aggregated values of groups, such as those produced by the sum, count, average, max, or min functions. 
It is similar to the wear clause, but it operates on groups of rows rather than individual rows. The method of accessing the I.O. devices by repeatedly checking the status flags is A. Program-controlled I.O. B. Memory-mapped I.O. C. I.O.-mapped I.O. D. More than one of the above. E. None of the above. Answer. Program-controlled I.O. Explanation. Program-controlled I.O. is a method of accessing I.O. devices by repeatedly checking the status flags. In this method, the processor executes a program that gives it direct control of the I.O. operation, including sensing. The process of periodically checking the status of an I.O. device is called polling. Polling is the simplest way for an I.O. device to communicate with the processor. Dash clause creates temporary relation for the query on which it is defined, A, with, B, from, C, where, D, more than one of the above, E, none of the above. Answer, with, explanation, the with clause creates a temporary relation for the query in which it is defined. The definition of the temporary relation is only available to the query in which the with clause occurs, the with clause is used to define a temporary view. The recursive keyword can be used to specify that the view is recursive. SQL applies predicates in the with clause after groups have been formed, so aggregate functions may be used. The SQL statement prints A70, B, garbage, C726, D, more than one of the above, E, none of the above. Answer 70 explanation will round the number 65.7 to 6 to the nearest tens place, resulting in the value 70. So, the output of this SQL statement will be 70. The matrix contains m rows and n columns. The matrix is called sparse matrix if a total number of zero elements mn 2 b total number of zero elements is equal to mn c total number of zero elements is equal to mn d more than one of the above e none of the above. Answer: Total number of zero elements mn 2 explanation. A matrix is considered sparse if the total number of zero elements in the matrix is greater than half of the total number of elements, mn. In other words, if more than half of the elements in the matrix are zeros, it is classified as a sparse matrix. Dash command makes the updates performed by the transaction permanent in the database, a. Rollback, b. Commit, c. Truncate, d. More than one of the above, e. None of the above. Answer. Commit. Explanation. The commit command is used in a database to make the updates performed by a transaction permanent. When you issue a commit command, it indicates that you want to save the changes made during the transaction to the database, and these changes become permanent and visible to other database users. Which of the following is the basic approach for joining tables? A. Union join. B. Natural join. C. Subqueries. D. More than one of the above. E. None of the above. Answer. More than one of the above. Explanation. All of the above are basic approaches for joining tables, subqueries, a select query that is embedded in the main select statement. In many cases, a subquery can be used instead of a join, union, an approach for joining two or more tables, natural, an approach for joining two or more tables. The join condition for the natural join is basically an equijoin of all columns with the same name. Other types of joins include inner join, left outer join, right outer join, full join. What is the time complexity of an infix to postfix conversion algorithm? A. Big O of n log n, B. Big O of n, C. Big O of n square, D. More than one of the above, E. None of the above. Answer. Big O of n. Explanation. The time complexity of an infix to postfix expression conversion algorithm is mathematically found to be O, n. Which of the following is the advantage of the array data structure? A. Elements of mixed data types can be stored. B. Easier to access the elements in an array. C. Index of the first element starts from 1. D. More than one of the above. E. None of the above. Answer. Easier to access the elements in an array. Explanation. One of the primary advantages of the array data structure is that it provides easy and efficient access to its elements. Elements in an array are typically stored in contiguous memory locations and you can access them directly by their index or position in the array. This direct access makes it faster to retrieve elements compared to other data structures that may require more complex navigation or searching mechanisms, 
Option A is not correct because in most programming languages, arrays are used to store elements of the same data type. Option C is not correct because the index of the first element in most programming languages starts from 0, not 1. Which data structure is mainly used for implementing the recursive algorithm? A, Q, B, stack, C, binary tree, D, more than one of the above, E, none of the above. Which data structure is mainly used for implementing the recursive algorithm? A, Q, B, stack, C, binary tree, D, more than one of the above, E, none of the above. What is the postfix expression for the corresponding infix expression? A plus B into C plus, D into E, A, A, B, C into plus D into plus, B, A, B, C plus into D into plus, C, A plus B, C into D plus into, D, more than one of the above, E, none of the above. Ans, A, B, C into plus D into plus, explanation, using the infix to postfix expression conversion algorithm, the corresponding postfix expression is found to be A, B, C into plus D into plus. Which one of the following is not the type of Q? A. Linear Q, B. Circular Q, C. Double ended Q, D. More than one of the above, E. None of the above. Answer. None of the above. Explanation. All the options mentioned A. Linear Q, B. Circular Q, and C. Double ended Q, also known as DQ, are types of Qs used in computer science and data structures. There is no additional type of Q mentioned in the options, so none of the above is the correct answer. The necessary condition to be checked before deletion from the queue is a. Overflow, b. Underflow, c. Rear value, d. More than one of the above, e. None of the above. Answer. Underflow. Explanation. The answer is b. i. Underflow. Before deleting an element from the queue, we first need to check whether the queue is empty or not. After performing following set of operations, what does the final list look contain? A. 10, 30, 10, 15, B. 20, 30, 40, 15, C. 10, 30, 40, 15, D. More than one of the above, E. None of the above. Answer. 10, 30, 40, 15. A linear data structure in which insertion and deletion operations can be performed from both the ends is A. Q. B. Circular Q. C. D. Q. D. More than one of the above, E. None of the above. Answer. DQ. Explanation. DQ is a linear data structure that allows insertion and deletion from both ends. DQ stands for double-ended Q. In a linear Q, insertion must happen from the rear end and deletion from the front end. However, in a DQ, you can perform both insertion and deletion operations at both of its ends. DQ is a generalized version of a Q. If circular queue is implemented using array having size max underscore size in which array index starts with zero, front points to the first element in the queue, and rear points to the last element in the queue. Which one of the following conditions is used to specify that the circular queue is empty? A. Front is equal to rear is equal to minus one. B. Front is equal to rear is equal to zero. C. Front is equal to rear one. D. More than one of the above. E. None of the above. Answer. Front is equal to rear is equal to minus 1. Explanation. In a circular queue implemented using an array with indices starting at 0, if both front and rear are set to minus 1, it specifies that the circular queue is empty. This condition indicates that there are no elements in the queue, as there is no valid index that points to any element in the array. What is the functionality of the following piece of code? A. Perform push, with push as a costlier operation. B. Perform push with pop as a costlier operation, C, perform pop, with push as a costlier operation, D, more than one of the above, E, none of the above. Answer, perform push, with push as a costlier operation, explanation, the functionality of the following piece of code is to add the integer x to the queue q1, the offer, method is a standard method for adding elements to a queue. It is equivalent to the add, method but it returns a boolean value indicating whether the element was successfully added to the queue. The answer is therefore, a. Dot, note that the push and pop methods are typically used for stacks, not queues. Which one of the following techniques is not used in the binary tree? a. Randomized traversal, b. Preorder traversal, c. Postorder traversal, d. More than one of the above, e. None of the above. Answer. Randomized traversal. Explanation. 
The answer is A. Randomized traversal is not used in a binary tree. Binary trees can be traversed in multiple ways, including pre-order, traverse from the root to the left subtree, then to the right subtree, post-order, traverse from the left subtree to the right subtree, then to the root, in order, always gives ascending order of elements, level order, another type of traversal, a binary tree can be uniquely created by post-order and in-order traversals. Which of the following is not a feature of traversals?